Hey guys, it's your favorite uh, host, podcaster, producer, whatever, Matt Kelly. Um, so there is a new podcast that I'm producing because I don't make enough of them, but it's hosted by Brian and I, sister Julie, and it's called My Favorite Episode Of, and you can find it on all types of podcasting apps today. Today is when it came out. It is a brand new show. Episode one just dropped, and Brian and I are the guests, so you should go and listen to it. Uh, and in case you're not convinced, here is the first half of the episode featuring Brian and I discussing Boy Meets Worlds, and then there was Sean, also known as the Scream Parody episode. So go ahead and give this a listen. You're going to love it. And then go and subscribe so that you can hear all the other episodes, because I got to tell you, Julie's kind of a better podcaster than Brian and I combined. It's it's really weird. She picked it up really quickly for never having done it ever in her life. All right. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll be back with a regular episode on Friday. What's up, everybody? This is Julie with the first episode of my favorite episode. Today, we have producer Matt and brother Brian. Hey. On the podcast. You could also chime in, Brian. <laughs> Brian. Uh, you know, I like to keep the element of surprise. Yeah. He's just too busy clicking away. Thank you for having me, Julie. <laughs> of course. Welcome to the show. So, since it is spooky season and Halloween is next week, we will be talking about the Halloween episode of Boy Meets World, which is season five, episode 17, which is called And Then There Was Sean. So, the weird thing about this is that. I always thought that it was a Halloween episode, but it's not. It's like, I mean, it is. Like, I mean, in the sense that it's like a horror movie, <laughs> I mean, sure. It is. <laughs> but like, do you know when this episode came out? Because I, 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 I'm I gonna go with I'm gonna go with Halloween. I'm gonna go around. I'm, I, my guess is uh, March. It came out. Had to be September, February twenty seventh, nineteen ninety eight. I was the closest. So, did the first time we see it, it was a rerun because, like, I feel like I remember uh, TGIF, like Halloween, like that was when we saw it. I I feel like TGIF had to start playing it on Halloween all the time, but it. I feel like we would have watched it when Who it first the aired. Fuck makes a scary episode in February. <laughs> Michael Jacobs. Yeah, like that is some bullshit. I'm calling the bluff. They might have, what's it, shot it? Is that what we would call it? That was the release date. It said <sighs> air original air date, February 27th. Yeah. I, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Because we were deep in the thralls of that Topanga Corey breakup. All right. Well, then rewind the not Halloween episode of Women's <laughs> World, <laughs> the episode that came out in February. Um, personally, one of my favorite episodes of this show. I mean, this show is amazing. It's so good. It, it's very funny. Jade, Jade didn't want to watch it, but I called her chuckling. Jade hates sitcoms. It's very frustrating. I don't know how I'm marrying her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yeah. It's just everyone knows Jade is Brian's fiance. And yes. I, I, I tricked that, one. <laughs> I think that this would be like genuinely one of my favorite episodes of anything. Like the amount of times that I've watched this particular episode of this TV show is insane. I mean, just like that. I'm going to have to slow you down there. I don't think this is my favorite episode of anything. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely my favorite episode from childhood. A childhood nostalgia. Oh, so you're saying you watched it for this episode and you didn't like it. You weren't happy. Oh, is that is that it? I hate it, or it's my favorite episode? <laughs> is that the scale that we're using? Yes, yes, that's what we're using. I'm actually sitting here, and I was laughing because you brought up Jade, and like in real life, you are Corey, and Jade is Topanga. And that is just <laughs> that is. We've just actually some never shit. gotten that one before. I mean, most people compare us to uh, Larry David and his wife in Curb Your Enthusiasm, but that's a new one. Corey Matthews and Topanga. I huh. mean. Even this episode. <laughs> you know, I've never been compared to a cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for someone to be like, you know what? You are Uncle Jesse and Jade is the newscaster woman that I can't remember her name. If so you're anyone like, on Full House, it's like Uncle Joey. Like, don't flatter. You're not John Stamos. <laughs> Someone's. I think someone once told me that I'm a Corey Matthews who desperately wants to be a Sean Hunter. And it was one of the most hurtful but accurate things I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. I could see Matt being a Mr. Feeney in like 10 years. <laughs> Listen, are we are we going to be nice or are we going to be honest? I yeah. just want to know. Tell us that. Nice, nice or honest. Because Matt, you're Minkus and, and no one else. <laughs> yeah. Matt. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. It's okay. Especially because Minkus like doesn't exist when they're older. <laughs> <laughs> and when he is there, he's the biggest fucking pest in the world. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's harsh. Well, I mean, we could sit here and talk about the entire series, but let's maybe talk about the whole reason for this episode. So, Which is? The uh, February episode of Boy Meets World uh, starts out immediately A-plus work. I yep. mean, it starts out being incredible. Um, my personal... I actually, me and Matt watched this together, and we both said it was easily the best quote of the episode. Is when they're all in the classroom and they realize that there's a murderer in the school, and Sean's like, "And here we go, our soon-to-be first victim." And he's talking to Kenny, who's like outside of the group, just like a random classmate. And Kenny's like, "Me? Why me?" And Corey's like, "Well, come on, Kenny. It's certainly not going to be any of us." <laughs> This episode does such a great job of breaking the fourth wall over and over and over again. Yes. Oh, yeah. So funny. I I wrote down actually that Corey, I mean, I think Corey's one of the best characters on the show. Like the all, the shit he says is so funny, but he definitely has the best lines in this show too. Like everything he says is hilarious. Oh, in the in the very beginning, the one part that made me and Jade laugh was uh <laughs> was the whole pencil banter and uh where they refused to let Kenny borrow a pencil, and then Sean said to Panga, "Stab Corey in the back," and she said, "Corey stabbed her in the back." And Corey is like, "I would stab myself before I stabbed you." Now, Kenny, give me the pencil. He's like, "I don't have one." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Little, I jumped it ahead of myself there with saying that was the best opening quote because that was actually like fifteen minutes. Yeah, it was into like halfway through yeah. the episode. <laughs> Whoops. I thought you were going to talk about how it's the best of the, like, eight different Boy Meets World theme songs that there were. I do love theme songs. Which one was this one? Can you sing it for me? Because it's Boy Meets World, (laughs) Boy Meets World. Yeah, I mean, that was, like, that was from, like, middle season to finish, right? They never changed it when they were, like, in college, did they? No, this this was the first season they started using it. Seasons one through four had a different theme song every single season. Oh, every single season. I remember, like, the one with the earth, and it was just kind of, like, music, but that's, like, when they're kids. Yeah, there was that one. There was the surf one that was, like, Uh. it was, like, the drum beat as, like, Corey comes running down the stairs, and then it's just them riding in the... Oh, (laughs) da-da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, nailed it. (laughs) And then, like, the first season's this really, really long, like, minute and a half jazz song that's just showing clips from the show. Mm. Mm. It's awful. <laughs> that, um, that, that hum that we both did was, we don't care, but we didn't have anything else to say. <laughs> <laughs> and we both did it at the same exact time. <laughs> mm, gotcha. Is this okay. the, uh, did this opening theme have the dumping the water on them? Or is that later? No, I think that's, that's college. Because that's, that's, that's yeah. when the redhead chicks in it. Oh, yes, that guy. That's a girl. Um, <laughs> I know. I was being mean. Oh, that was really mean. I just won't let you have that. That was so mean. I mean, that was that might have been tied with you calling Matt Minkus earlier. <laughs> Minkus was cool. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> Question mark on that one. Mm, okay. Uh, do you guys not, did you guys forget when Minkus got like the most badass water gun? I guess you did. That one time that Minkus was cool? Yeah, man. (laughs) Just wait. Your moment's coming. So, unfortunately, (laughs) unfortunately, we have to admit that um, we went on a family vacation to Disney in March of 2018. And Mm -hmm. me and Matt, during that week, watched the entire series of Girl Meets World. (laughs) And... (laughs) Boy, did we. Yeah, that is embarrassing. But (laughs) Minkus actually has a son ironically in Corey's daughter's class named and Farkas Farkas yeah so creative and Minkus actually ends up being like a billionaire so Matt it's coming yeah, yeah. I could have sworn he was probably the same age you are now but it's okay we'll save his word <laughs> <laughs> all right back time. to the episode yeah back to the episode anyways um so 
I'm just going to keep firing off my my favorite parts of this episode, and then you two can just kind of chime in whenever you feel necessary. <laughs> and you know I like to jump the gun, obviously, being that I said the best part of the beginning was 15 minutes in. So <laughs> To a 21-minute <21 laughs> episode. Yeah. So, yeah, just cut me off at any time. Um, another good line is, and this one's kind of like, I feel like the internet kind of ran with this one really hard. Like, you see it every Halloween. Like, you just see the meme, but when Kenny gets stabbed and he has the pencil through his forehead and he just falls to the ground and Corey walks up to it and he's like, we'll always remember he was this tall. (laughs) Yeah. See, it's sad. And I think the thing that makes me not say that this is my favorite episode of any show of all time is like, as much as I hate to say it, I feel like I've really grown out of Eric's humor. So everything when I was a kid that I thought was so funny about what Eric said and done this episode was like, all right, that's, it, it was made for children. But Corey, yeah. everything Corey does still makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah. To this he's, day. he's hilarious. I mostly agree, but there's still some Eric lines that, that kill me. Like when when he goes, uh, when they're standing by the payphone and they're like, oh my God, we can use it. He's like, that's right, because when the killer comes out and he just rips the phone out of the wall, he's like, we can hit him with this. Yeah. And then it rings and he answers it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on and on and on with that guy. Yeah. He is funny. I actually personally i think uh angela is the most annoying character in this yeah. show i mean this yeah. episode's pretty bad yeah but... she just screams that's all she does yeah she has no lines they're just like you're gonna annoy the shit out of everyone watching and you're just gonna scream 50 times <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's also starting to piss me off like watching it as an adult and i know it was in in the 90s but fucking sean hunter's hair i mean <laughs> christ see I'm, uh, that's great hair i want to go back to that hair it, it's um, like a bowl cut, but with a straight part. <laughs> it's a, it's a good look. Jay won't let me have it. She's really she's really encroaching on my style. I can't have hair like that. She won't let me grow a mustache. I'm really like in a box right now. If you had hair like that and a mustache, you'd be on Megan's Law. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, she's helping you. Just <laughs> accept it. That that the rule, huh? Yeah. That is so. Funny. So when I complain to the police and I'm like, "Why is this child molester <laughs> on my street?" and it's not on Megan's law. Well, if you notice, he's got a buzz cut with with a beard. That doesn't really follow I, our protocol would, for Megan's law. I would bet you money that if you grew your hair like that and grew a mustache, and I I I would honestly pay you fifty dollars to have to walk around to your neighbors and be like, yeah, <laughs> "I am on Megan's law." Because you have to tell. You have to tell uh, your neighbors that it, it's like a certain mile radius. And I guarantee you they would look scared to death and they would believe it even if you're not on it. I don't even think he has to go that yeah, far. I think thing. that if he has that hair and that mustache and he goes to the Disney World, parents would pull their kids closer to P- them. People already do that to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Brian goes I, to Disney World by himself when he travels for work. Like That is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Listen, it was wonderful. No, you had anxiety. You called me at dinner (laughs) (laughs) because you were sitting there by yourself at a table for one with all these families around. (laughs) They were just looking at me. Well, it's a little weird. I mean, you got a freaking 30-year-old at Disney Mm -hmm. World with no children. (laughs) I was thinking. Probably in a Mickey Mouse (laughs) t-shirt. The next time I do it, I'm going to pull a Mrs. Dalfire, but with myself. And just order two entrees and just keep every time I get up to go to the bathroom, my other person comes out and starts eating and we just keep missing each other. Oh, my God. I would love that. That is hilarious. That's amazing. Oh, God. If you do that, can you be the Mrs. Doubtfire where she shoves her face in the cake? Hello. I feel like I feel like that scene only works in someone's apartment. I can't just yeah. walk around with pie on my face. I know, but we did love that scene. Hi, like, you ready to order? Hello. <laughs> I'll have a coffee, no cream. Oh, there's a drop of cream. <laughs> Again, as always, uh, we're off topic. (laughs) You're listening to the Geekscape Network.